Hey, Gliss Babe, happy Friday. This is me, Nancy. Welcome back to Gliss Assistant Sauce Live tutorial. Hold on. I think today's Saturday. I get lost track of the day. Did it just say I feel Friday? I think today is Saturday. So happy Saturday. weekend and hope you all have a fabulous day. If you are working, hope you have a fabulous day, productive day, and making a lot of a lot of money. Okay. If you are having a day off and just being around with your family, with the loved ones, have a fabulous time. So I'm so excited to be back and to share with you really, really a cute design tutorial, which is, I promise with you, even you are love in the nail art, you're always afraid of, you can't do this. And I'm going to be the one to prove for you, like, definitely you can do this. I'm not the big, um, you know, like, and, um, painting like drawing and a nail art but i absolutely so excited to share with you how easy this one works and create fun leaf and any different design of flowers that you were thinking of all right so in front of me i have that's the swatching that i did uh for you earlier for the videos but i'm gonna do live for you so then you can see step by step so let's get right into it. I have the two nails that I polished already. Once I'm using the number 25. Again, it is the glitch gel polish really pigmented. The consistency is amazing. So you can get a really nice uh, full coverage, like more opaque colors. This is number 25 here white. And two coat already. I didn't put any of the matte top coat or shiny top coat at all. So I'm going to do this uh, with the pigment to create this look for you okay and then we're gonna do this uh cute fun leaves in a little bit and i did use this actually this one i use the uh triple palette gels from a glitz october sub box so we still have really cool like few more days for you to grab this beautiful box do not miss out because it definitely worth every single penny so let do this leap um shortly like after this first designs and then we can decide together if you want to get me to get some of the um crystals or 3d charms on it using the um extra thick condensed glue gel i have it right on my hands right here because in doing this weekend sales you are receiving your Extra thick I hope condensed glue gel. So let's get right in. I have, I believe I have the purple on my subscription box this month, and I just grabbed a couple more for my um, set of twelve. So I get you know a couple more out here, like three more for my set. But then I didn't have to use a purple because I have a purples for my box I receive. So really simple i am go ahead and i open it already so then that way we can get right into and if you don't have the kind of the brush that i have it right here single brush number 13 the fuel brush brush if you do not have that then you can almost you know you can always using the um the eyeshadows old traditional eyeshadow applicators you can also use that to pick up all of the pigment as you prefer. I'm going to use this because you just simply just wipe it off and it's going to release all the pigment and you can pick another one. So now the two coat of the gel polish and then you it still have a tacky layer and then we're just using the brush and pick up this right here. And you can do it have a lot And clean the um, bristles. Pick up another colors. Clean again. And pick up the purple. Okay. You can also use this to make it like really cool, easy ombre as well. But I'm going to do it just randomly on the background to make it kind of a fun, vibrance in the background. 
that's it and you don't have to worry about is gonna be perfect or not because we don't need it to be perfect okay i'm gonna just dust it off with my nancy corn that's it and you can do more than just three colors i did one two three four you can do four color five colors however um pigments color that you would like to and then now we're done with that part pigment which is that i got the um purples on my box a lot of you get the orange i love the orange as well so now you can only as simple as using this blossom gel before that i am going to using number 24 a uh, glitz gel polish which is jet black i'm gonna drop one drop right here just one drop and then i have the uh Number four, a single detail brush. You're gonna see me using a lot of them. Or if you don't have those, you can always use twin tip brush. Is get the detail bristle a little bit shorter, but it works as well. And I'm gonna using a blossom gel. So then this will help to create really cool um, blooming effects, like spreading the nail art for you. So I'm gonna apply and tie the nails evenly and then if you want to spread the nail art spread fast you're going to apply a little bit more of a, of a blossom gel if you want it to be slow you can definitely apply is uh less of the blossom gel so i'm going to pick up the smaller beads and let it do it all itself Just keep picking it up, the gel polish, and place it there. That's about it. Then I'm going to do on the side. And let it do this all magic. This more gel. How's everyone doing? Thanks so much for stopping by, tuning in. School, it's just like spreading, it's all the gel. We'll get for just a second and it's just spreading everything for you. I love it how it just does all the work for me. And you can adjust it as you needed it, okay? Okay, and then when you're happy with this, you can definitely key it. Wipe off your brush. And then we'll go ahead and key this for 60 seconds. That's cool, huh? And oh, so now if you, before I'm keying, so if you like the design like this, leave it alone like this. But if you want to get the effects like this, it's super simple. Simply just using the brush and then just kind of draw it like in the middle of the nails and then on one, you know, like stroke on the left and one on the right. So it's going to create this. So which one should we leave? Should we leave it like this? Should we? Should we do? Should we do? Bottom up. Yeah. One should nice stroke right in the middle. In the middle? In the middle. Are we sure you want to leave it there? Yep. Bottom up. So it's like it's back from your tips all the way to your cuticle. Okay, so. let me see. Hmm. See now, like that nail got a lot of laughs. 
So if you want more, you can go on that side. Mm -hmm. But I say if as earlier, I say if you don't want, you can here. But if you want to um, change the design, you can do however you want. I like them both though. You can leave it alone. Oh, you can change. Oh, it's cool though. All right. Okay. Now you just let it have to dry. Mm -mm. Cure for 60 seconds. That's kind of, kind of cool fun of uh, background for the um, Halloween designs. So now we have two of those. One I think I draw up and one is down. So it's cool. So I'm going to get back some of the... Um, some of the... Uh, Big 3D crystals I'm going to show you using the uh, extra thick condensed glue gel. So I'm going to put maybe some of this, even this, on like super cool. I think this might be a bit too big for her. Too big for her? Don't you think? Like a fancy crystal. Well, I guess more is better. Let's see how it's gonna fix on the nails. Okay, let's see. But big crystal. Does that cool? Mm -hmm. You can leave it alone. You do not have to go like more if you want to. If you don't want to, we can leave it alone as it is. Okay. Yep. So you see that how different when you do background, you can do more purples. It's going to give you a cool different background. It's like a kind of tight eyes underneath. All right. So I'm going to use this one and create some crystal. I'm going to leave one alone and one with the crystals. I'm going to leave this one alone and then this one with the crystals. How about that? And I'm going to go ahead and using extra thicks. Um, condensed glue gels. So one that I just opened yesterday and we did the designs and really thick, super thick. It's not like our a standard condensed glue gel. So this is will allow you to do a lot of the 3D crystal charm chains and it keep it stay in one place. So I am go ahead and pick about a same size of the elements, which is I'm gonna put the score first. Just right here. One second. And then make sure you are going to add the top coat. No wipe right away. really heavy so it's gonna hold really well and pull it right here you know what it's gonna be cool like had her um the eyes ball on that too should i put two of them in there nope and you can line up the eye with the color underneath ah yeah that's right or you can put her eyes on it Either, either way. Okay, I'm going to flash key it quick. And it doesn't move and go anywhere with the extra thick condensed glue gels. I'm going to key it first and then we're going to place the crystal, the bigger 3D pointed back crystal on around. All right. It looks cool by itself though. Or also, if you don't want like, you know, school, you can have your skeleton like this. You know what? It's going to be like that. You can do this and it's grabbing that crystal right there. Either way, you had so many different ideas. Like this. I said, do not take my diamond. You can do so many different ways. Like, so cool. All right. So let's move on the next. I'm going to do pick up the same amount of the Extra Thicks Condensed Glue Gel. I'm so, so excited because now... 
all of your 3D crystals, your charm, your chains is safe. It's not going to even like popping up or hanging there. It was definitely is going to last for you until you or your clients going to decide to get the nails off. So anyway, when you are doing a bigger crystal, especially we are going to do three of them, like going to place it like a triangle. Um, we'll make sure that we give it a good amount, like about the same size at at least one crystal. So then that way you'd have enough of the condensed gel to hold and to anchor down your crystal, your charm, and your chain. So I'm going to pick up like three of them. The skeleton, I love that it looks so sparkle and definitely you don't want it to come off. You might as well use that. Teaser. See how heavy it is? Like it doesn't go anywhere. Get her right in here. And you can adjusting it however you can see that how I adjusting it them. Let them get in. She stick it right there. It's just shift it a little bit. Go like, I'm not gonna go anywhere. There you go. I like that. It looks cool. I'm just blending the extra thick condensed glue gel to make sure that not a lot of the extra there. And then you can definitely, I'm checking. If I need anything spilled in the spot, if I'm good, I just leave it alone and fast here. It's the best thing about condensed glue gel and no white top coat. You can take a time and you see that all of your crystal 3Ds is stay on, but without contaminate with your condensed glue gel. So take your time when you're doing a really cool nail art like this. It's you don't want to get in them to running everywhere. And then that's what happened. It had all of the gels is touching on your crystal. And by the time you clear the nails and it finished, it's going to get in really, really a lot of um, residues on the top of your crystal. So it's going to take away from your beauty full like sparkle and cut. So it's really nice. And you can see that it's even I'm not keying it yet. It's still staying on like a concrete is not going to just like falling off. And we're going to go ahead and clear this flash gear for 30 seconds. I love it how you can able to adjusting it. You can see that how I move left to the right. You take your time. If you, you want to add more crystal around, absolutely you can. If you don't want anything else, you you like it, call it good. We are going to flash gear for 30 seconds. Make sure you flash gear. And when you have especially your big crystal, you make sure your acid clients to just till their fingernails back and forth. So then all LD like um lights gonna able to clear through penetrate through every single edges in the corner of the crystal where you are and here's it so clear for 60 seconds here you can do one picture for this one all right 
So when you're working with the condensed mood gel with the bigger crystals, like for instance, the same that we did, it or take your time to adjusting wherever your elements, your crystal want to be. So before you key it, because that's the best thing about you don't have to rush to get it taken care of because you can adjusting however, you know, you can do it like up, down, left or right. Do it first before you key it. So it's not have to worry about you don't have to worry about it. just like oh my god it's gonna set and it's dry and it's falling off so in the meantime we're waiting for that one drive and then we're gonna using the uh precision glue gels later uh or shortly really shortly in a couple more minutes and we're gonna seal around all the crystals all the edges um and cap it We want it using precision glue gel to seal. I'm gonna go in and check, check, check. Feels the gap right here. I'm gonna check that. I love that how is in the um the the needle ends here is really precise. So then that way you can go into a different angle and the gap and check 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 see if you feel like really scratchy and it might get chance to catching on the hair or the clothes feel free to seal it and then also keep in mind you can definitely seal and reseal it again if you feel like you needed it make sure you key it for 30 second flash key and then come back and seal it again first of all to double secure it also so then that way all of your gels, precision glue gels will not running everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and check around here. And I'm going to close the needle in. I'm going to open on the other end. So because we have a bigger metal piece, I am going to use precision brush on the other end. And I'm going to seal completely this prevent from getting tarnished and catching on the hair or the clothes. I'm not coating on the top of the crystal. It's just, as it's really gorgeous, we want to keep it nice and sparkle. We'll wipe it off with the alcohol shortly after it here. So then is give it back the remaining really nice and shiny because I have a little bit of residues from my wax, like on my crystal picker here. But let here, and then we are going to clean it. Before that, I'm going to coat completely the nails. Unless you want any others. You can put some couple more crystal here. But I uh, really like it looks like that. Because it still give me some of really cool like have a tie dyes look. So I'm going to top coat this and here for 60 seconds cool it's really cool huh it's like a lot when you see me i'll do all different but this time we're doing this and then give it a little totally different looks from the halloween and then you can leave this on alone you can put this designs like if you want to put you know skeletons that's on it cool or you can do the or you can do the gold. Maybe silver stand out good. What do you think? Either one. No, but I'll... The silver probably stand out better. Silver pop. Like, you can get, like, uh, silver, and then you can grab the um, pumpkin or something else. Crystal. Skull. There's a lot of more cool things. Or you can simply doing the crystal designs, which is... I'm just waiting for the other nails to show you. Or you can do some of simple crystal designs for Halloween, like that. You know? However you want. It doesn't matter. You do what you feel like you wanted it or your clients, so... Okay. Or... It's really cool. This one had tiny little pumpkin. I love it so much. And you can do the tiny little pumpkins. Makes look like she's really happy. You can do her on randomly. 
you know? What about this? Just say, look, they go and party Halloween night. You know, so whatever you would like, you can do it. Let me know if you want to see it. We can do something with that or else we can move on to the second nails. This one looks cool. I'm going to go ahead and using alcohol to clean all the residues. Alcohol, 99% alcohol, and then clean all the residues. To give it really nice and sparkle, the crystal is everything. There you go. So sparkle. This one, I really like it, though. Cool. It's had all the colors. All right, so let's give it on the side right here. You have to see this one in person. It looks so freaking cool, though. Cool. All right, so moving on the second nails, we are going to use, I did use this, um, the Triple Palace from the black colors I'm using from Triple Palace. Love it, love it. Um, you can see that I'm using a lot out of them. And I did two coat of the black on the nails key each layer for 60 seconds phone key and then i did use a matte top coat and key for 60 seconds so now i am go ahead and using my palette spray here and loading some of the gel painting and you can tell that my bottle of gel painting that i'm using it for a long time and it's still really cool when it lasts I think I have one of them uh, here too, but um, you can see that how many times that I'm using it. It's just like, but it works and it lasts. So this is the gel painting with precision brush. So I'm gonna load just like a couple drop right here. Hey, can you can you share it to the book? No. And then. Only you need to do, I used to be struggling so much, so hard with painting, especially with the maple leaves. And it's really hard. You know, I always thinking it's going to be just only like really a truly of um, like basically the artist artist and then become a nail techs that can do that. But actually it's not true. You can definitely do it with the um, fur brush. It's make my life is so much better and it have all different designs as for a brush i have it for years and i love it and absolutely is is the germs on my um on my desk because it's helped me doing a lot of fun kind of a drawing without struggling and then giving up so i'm going to show you it's really super simple and easy and all that we need to do is it already have a shape for you so you don't have to literally don't have to work that crazy hard so i'm gonna go ahead and submerging my uh, bristles into the gel painting and i'm gonna just like saturate it and because it's a glitch gel painting in the prison with precision brush it's kind it's really cool thick on this thick consistency but it's not too watery so then you can easy to doing it, it's like painting really really simple and easy as well so let's um now i'm loading it already so i'm gonna do is keep again a little bit for right there so i want to just like take it off so i'm only need to do it to keep the bristles like tip it's kind of parallels with the nail plates like this okay so we'll do it one stroke keep it flat and just draw it Pull it backward. Start from an owner and then you pull it back. I love that. It's just like, wow, it's definitely, it changed completely my life on the drawing. And then same thing, I'm going to do right in the middle. And then 
same thing on the left do it on the right you can keep it straight you can do it curl however you want do another one okay cool and you can repeat it you can if you want to trace it back if you want to absolutely okay now i'm gonna flash key it key it for 30 seconds first how easy it is Ooh. looks so difficult but it's so much easier now just with this brush i'm excited like on this end too so if you want, you can do one more coat uh, before we rub the neon pigments on. I can do one more coat. And I'm using this bristle. Submerging again my bristle. And then just repeat it. You don't have to, okay? Absolutely. And then continue. Now flash here. Before that, you can trace, you can using your like really thin detail brush or also you can also trace with your precision brush there are so many different ways you can use different colors you can do gold you can do silver you can do blue you can do purple whatever colors of your uh, precision brush you can use it for um is come by with your uh, floral brush there's no limit of what you can use at this. I'm going to trace that one. And you don't have to go really hard with this because later when you're doing the veinings later, it's going to be a really fun part. I love that veining. It's make it so much easier. Then you can make it perfect as well at later. So if you want to more detail if you don't want any veinings like you just want to stop after you did with the uh neon you can definitely do that i love that it's because it's already have a pan of the leaf so i don't have to struggling like oh which one should i do you know same thing with this and of course the leaf is none of them are like identical and perfect so you are fine Okay, so here, for now, we're going to rub the pigment on shortly. So we're going to give for about 25 to 30 seconds, okay, to get it set, but it's not too, too dry. And then we are going to make sure you remove all the excess gels on the brush and then clean it with the um, no top coat like a clean gels clear gels pigment and then cap on all right so we are going ahead if as a, as i said if you don't have this brush you can definitely using the um the makeup applicator the old school one if you have the brush you can use that as well I'm gonna move the pigment. I just use this two orange and then kind of the red orange. You can do any colors. You can do purple. You can do blue. You can do however you want. I'm gonna pick up just a smaller amount and we'll rub in the middle. So it's like doing an ombre look. Just blend, blend. Pick up more. 
You don't need a lot of pigment though, because they're so pigmented. Little go a long way. You can use this little dab. That's cool, huh? Uh -huh. Just throw it in there. Just I have uh, air conditioning is blowing in front of on top of me now. It's like, wait, 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 wait! Don't blow my pigment away. All right, clean my uh, brush. I'm uh, picking to like have a reddish orange. Okay. There you go. And create it's really cool. Like ombre looks like have an orange to have an orange red. I'm just only rub it on way I did with the gel painting with the petals only and I leave the background the black backgrounds alone I can like using all right cool bean Perfect. I'm gonna move this one away using the Nancy corn and then just dust it off. That's it. And now we're gonna do some veinings. And then we're gonna use some veinings. Either if you are having your a uh, japanting with precision brush, you can use this with um with the gel painting with precision brush, the brush a little bit um, thicker, or you can using the detail brush to so clean that brush. You can using this, the detail brush, number four, or twin tip brush. I will try to get all the different possibility to that, just in case you don't have everything. You can still rock it, absolutely. Um, I'm going to using either you can use triple palettes, work as well, or you can using number 24, jet black. Just a little. Saturate this one. I love the glitz gel polish. It's had the it's really soft and keep it parallel for the nails and then really a uh, feather touch. And give it a soft look. And I'm gonna do the outline like that, especially for a lot of um, glitz tape. A lot of you like me is we love nail art, but it's not everybody are the same. So you have to find the way it works the best for you. All right, so I'm gonna do like two, and then. I love it, it's just the detail, it's just like so small. So you can go really easy and soft touch. And it still create it like really cool veining for you. You can add more veining. So I'm gonna do like three, like a line. And then you can also, when you work in the client's nail, you can definitely um, move the fingernail, turn it, you know, like. Up and down, and I'm gonna give a little bit of then. Can you can play it? You can add more and less, and however you want, however you leave, you want your leave to look. I asked my husband, like, hey, do we is to that my leaf, the maple leaf looks like okay. What you think? Not bad at all. Nice. Like for it's like person is not big about painting. Mm -hmm. 
at least like in the middle of fall like that. Mm -hmm. You can leave really it like dry red before they get a little more yellow. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, huh? It's like totally nature. And it's neon, so you got some uh, black line on it. Oh, mm -hmm. right. So we can leave it like this and then key for 30 second flash key. And then we are going to. Um, so now there's so many different ways to do veinings, like the outline for the for the um, for the leaves. You can. Here's a, a lot of possibilities you can do. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna do one of the these. I'm gonna do one of a um, outline, kind of highlight it using the channel for foil. But you can do, you can using precision uh, brush gel painting, and you can outline it. It looks so beautiful. Or you can do a golden touch. I'm gonna show you all of our different possibilities. So whatever you have on your hands already, you can definitely use it. And you can using golden touch. I love golden touch. It's just so sparkly, like platinum's like like really really sparkly shimmery shiny it's hard to explain you gotta see it in person like to to like this um the pigments from gel paintings and the pot golden touch and it's slightly a little bit different from the goals in the gel painting with precision brush so the glitters the pigments are a little bit slightly different so it's not hard to own both of them you know like i use both of them in different type of design you can also use them for your uh, fusionings, you know, when you do veining as well. And possible another one, you can use it. You can definitely use, I love this one too. Illuminating is, you know, like um, gel light art. You can also do this one to give it really cool, like reflections, finished look. Um, but that's possible of a lot of way to doing it. But today I'm going to show you is like really cool way to doing a foil you know, chanfo on it to give it like really is three dimensions to look, okay? So before we doing that veinings, I am a go ahead and finish with the matte top coat because if we do not, what happened with doing a veining, it might stick into the residue of the gel painting I just finished. So I'm going to protect it by applying the matte top coat and tie the nails. Okay, we'll lock it in and here for 60 seconds. And then now if you don't want anything, you don't want outline, leave it alone like that. It's just cool. It's just being cute like that itself. So here is premium my whole channel for I'm going to drop a couple drop, one drop or two drop is depend on how many leaves you are going to eat to do painting. And I'm going to use the this detail brush number four you can do number four number two number three is happened that i have number four here so i'm using number four or again you can have your tinted brush so whatever handy that you have you can definitely use those okay so everyone doing i've been talking 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 and i didn't get time to looking on it so hope everybody have a fabulous uh saturday and I'm going to saturate my bristle with the, this is not the top coat. This is a premium Iho Chanfer for It will gear is 30 second and it will chanfer pretty much all of your beauty foils for you. I'm going to saturate and loading my bristle with the foil. It's really cool. It loads enough, but it's not too much. And it's too, not like too, too much of the foil. So now it's really cool. I love it because it's longer, um, on the bristle. So then what it does, it keep your hand pretty much is stationary and it's not shaky at all so you can tray simple it just trays all of the outline along with your leaf right here okay take your time with this it doesn't take much at all it doesn't take so much time from you but it does do beautiful uh, finish look i'm gonna chase chase my leave outline
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one first. And then I'm going to go back and do the other two. Okay. Here for 30 seconds. Great. And I have a piece of my foil, go foil. Maybe we should do the other one. I did it. It's like a not shiny. This one, like hollow. This one is like gold shiny. Like this one I did. I'm going to do like the hollow one and see how it'll turn out. Okay. So it give you a, a two different look. Leave that soon on the side. So 30 seconds only. I'm waiting. So for all of you just tuning in, welcome, welcome to Glitz Accessory and such. Live tutorials. I'm so excited to be back with another uh, tutorials. And then we did this looks and on the top of the blossom gels and neon pigment to create it because a lot of you are getting different colors on yours. That's 12 colors of neon pigment. So I'm so excited. I got the purple one. So I'm so thrilled with seeing a purple one. And then so now I am going in with the holo go for give it a good press 30 seconds yeah mm -hmm. give it a good like press you can see the veining that i drawing right here is sucking this foil in already and it's release it that's cool all right so ready see how cool how beautiful it is and then if you're seeing that any of missing spot that is not chamfer, then place it back up and will chamfer beautiful for you. And then go ahead and repeat it and do the same thing for these two leaves and do the same thing with chamfer the foil. Isn't that beautiful? It's so cool, right? You can mix however you want for your and chamfer everything. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this too. I want to show you the first look. And I'm going to trace this one and finish this. Continue. I'm just follow the line that I have it on my, like, outline from the leaf. And hey, them. So for the crystal, you can get them from the Halloween mix bag, which is either you get it directly, or you can also get some from our subscription box this month. And you guys got about four more days to get in on that. Oh, what is those crystal? Dom, you want this one, right? It was in the mix. Um, I think it's a collection of mixed 3D crystals. I think it's collection number two. Yes, they do want the big crystal. Hey Dom, how are you? Dom, really good and being active with a lot of tutorials. So if you are new to Glitz Accessory and such live tutorials, we are here with you a lot 24-7. Just kidding, it's pretty much more than that. Uh Dom is one of a really talented Glitz brand ambassadors. If you haven't get chance to follow her, check her page out. She's really passionate in really dedicate you know really dedicate and help support a lot of beginners a lot of nail techs who want to elevate your career to the next level so i finished this trace but you know what keep in mind if you feel like if missing anything you can always go back and do it again and like chant for the voice again so i think i got a good you can see that how shiny the light that i did and then we're going to key at 30 seconds. And also check out a lot of like other page from a Glitz a Brand Ambassador as well. They are so awesome. We have Dom at Hey Dom Do My Nails. And then now this hookout is Simply Nail Eden. And then we have Mika at Mika Do Nails. We have Vicky at Vicky Jensen. We have Skills, Isabel at Skillmatics. Um, and we have Brazil at Ballas Nails. And we have others like BA influencers as well. So follow their page and check out a lot of cool tutorials, such a great uh, inspirations from them. I learned a lot from them as well. So we're going to do 
I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do chan for this one first because this is small pieces right here. You have enough space for like the whole name, so. Yes, but I just want one piece at a time. I just didn't want all the gold is go everywhere. Keep it really quick. Like press it down. You can see the veining in right here. See you do that. I love this nails. It looks so cool. You know, I'll be honest with you. Seeing I um start working with the brush like over four years ago, I'm so thrilled. I'm just literally crying because I always wanted to draw the maple leaves and I have such a really hard time and struggling because I don't know, it's just hard to do is all the veining and detail from the leaves. And hey, thanks so much to this number two floral brush. Is that what we want all of the nail techs live to work smarter, not harder? And I know that Dom is really good at painting and then others is BAs. This BA is really good at painting as well. So those is really a cool tools on your hand with the real high qualities of a design that we do for each and flowers, uh, florals brush. I have, you can see that my brush like rubbing off is uh, forever, but it's really good that we have the cap on. So keep it, protect your brush. So that's why mine lasts that long, long time. So now if you're happy, I like that. So it's a holo. It's really cool. You see that you can see the foil, the gold is like kind of just like solid gold, but this one is like so sparkle. This is holo one. This one is the gold. So however you want, you know, now we're gonna top it with the shiny. If you want matte, you can definitely do a matte one more time, but make sure you trace again your veinings to make it look shiny again. So I'm going to do is no wipe top coat and top it and call it good. Top and key it for 60 seconds and you are good to go. I love it. It's just so easy, simple. I take my time because I want to show you step by step. And you literally see me doing live because and see how super easy it is. I'm so thrilled. I'm so excited. All right, done. So I know you know this one looks cool, but then that one, the holo is just everything. I think Dom, the crystal, I think you'll get it in the under of the crystal 3D mega mix is collection or series number two. It has, it has a lot of new update crystal, and I'm so freaking love this crystal. It's look like I could make the rings like a fashion rings out of this. You see how sparkle and is how it's cut. It is. I have a lot in my hands on this side right here. I'm gonna show you. Let's see, put it in. Just put it in here, my arm. On my arm. It's mine, so I'm not worried about them. Everything. Yeah. It's my treasure. You can screenshot it if you want to. All right. So, comment if you want what ring size. I'm going to make one for you. <laughs> when I know how to do it, <laughs> just you can keep my word for it. I will learn how to do this couple of cute fashion rings that I'll make it for you. But don't quote me at the moment. <laughs> but you can get this one on the official website. I think it's just under Crystal Collections and it was 3, 3D Crystal. Uh, I think it's collection and it's series number two. It's just really cool. It has so many of a gorgeous one. doesn't like this one. All right. I love this. We did a lot of videos with this crystal as well. And here is a nail that we did it today. I don't know. It's like, this one is cool though. This is the second nail that I do like for you. I like it even better because it looks like really character legs. Look, the leaf is so cute. Legs wavy and soft. Look, this one looks a little bit, look like, you know, this one is more natural look, huh? What you think? 
It doesn't uh, matter. Or look, look almost like a teacup. It is? Or a teacup? What do you mean teacup? Like a teacup or the door vein and like the whole ceramic. Should thing. we leave this one alone then? Or should we put some of a pumpkin? Look, she's the one to stick in there. She said, I'm not going in a way. If I'm a new house, I'm going to stay right here. You can, you can leave it her like this. You can leave it like that. But she's not going to stick on. Should we put some crystal on it? Uh, should we put some charms on it? No, leave it alone. So people see. Leave it alone? Mm -hmm. We never leave things alone, you know? As long as they <laughs> crystal up. This is what, should we do it? Should we do it? Yes, no, maybe so? Nope, leave it alone. Then leave it alone. I'm going to top coat it. At least you top coat it. Do you know what? It looks like skeletons like rip. I told you. Apps. The apps. All the apps. Then she put her face on it. See? Oh, that's right. And then you can do that, or you can do. I have. I have this right here. This might be we can do this one and put it in here, like she or he's all holding the app because he might get a stomach eggs or whatever. You know. Mm -hmm. It's cool though. You can leave it like that. And then put some like chains on it. The chains I got from my mix. Like this one. I remember that I got in my mix and I got the silver one. Perfect. And you can use it all with the actual thick. Oh, I like it like this. Just simple as it is. It's just charms, metal charms only. What you think? Mm -hmm. You're good. Should we do it? Yes or no? But later. The cool, huh? Just let the app stand for like the bed. <laughs> for one second. But you know what? And then it looks like a, uh, the movie, the short video that you were watching yesterday. Remember? Just holding that the power stone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just drop them. I just want a red one. I can get you a red one. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's more pink one. You can get the red one. Let's look. Pink, pink. That's pink red. That's a lot. Oh, that's one is cool. You can do a red one right here. And the skeleton hands grab that. That would be cool, right? What you think? Uh, then you're not gonna have it's not gonna have an apple. So should we leave it alone? Leave it alone. Nobody answers. I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> we'll do a next video because no one like everybody's like really enjoying it and I'll just leave it alone. I'm gonna do it in the next live video. So then you have something cool. You might you never know. I might have come up with some cool things. Um but in the meantime, I'm leaving it alone. I'm gonna top coat it so it won't hurt anything with using the uh glitz. I hope no white shiny top coat. I'm going to cap it to make sure that it's protect nicely. One, two, three. Here. 60 seconds. That is so fabulous. I'm so excited and so enjoying it. If I miss any of your comments, any of your questions, I didn't catch it right away when I'm doing live video. Don't. Um, please don't kill me. Don't be upset. You can always uh, reach out and DM us. Our team is really, really like happy to assist you. Somehow this one that doesn't fit on this one. I'm just like make sure this a uh, a lot of brush I'm using. Cleaning up. And I'm going to show you the final look. I love that neon pigment. Even you only have one neon pigment, you can definitely do it as well. Here is a look of the nails that we do today. I love the background, though. It's really cool because I'm using that neon pigment. I have the purple one for my sub bath. And a lot of you get your green. A lot of you get orange. A lot of you get the orange red. Like or even green, blues, yellows. I love them all. I wanted the white one, the neon white in my box, and I didn't get it because I'm so tempting with that one. It's so cool. 
but I got the purple ones. It's still really cool. So I hope you're enjoying it, the tutorials, as I always, you know, enjoy it when I am here with you. So if you have any question regarding to the tutorials or you want to see some of Fun's other techniques, don't hesitate to DM us. We're being so happy to send you a link for the tutorial. We'll have like almost 2,000 of videos for you to watch across different all, you know, platform from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikToks. Um, you can able to watch them. And I think also on Google, you can find us as well. And please enjoy. Is a huge sales going on now, up to 80% off a lot of categories. And don't forget, you are receiving the extra fix. I hold condensed glue gels. Come with your order with all the order of $99 or more after the discounts and taxes and the shipping so let's say if you order of like after you see your totals like 110 something like that he was definitely qualified for it just in case of you are minus of your ten dollars or nine ninety five dollars from your shipping you still qualify for it. so don't miss out because i am absolutely obsessed with this i should fix condensed glue gel it's hold down all your chain charms your crystal the big metal pieces and the big crystals and it will stay on the nail the clients nail for like weeks to come so here's the final looks and i'm so upset that it's, today it looks like really dramatic design like it's really dark cool definitely a fall theme here you go i'm so obsessed with that leaf it's super cute all right to all my love and if you have any question regarding to the order or shipping, or the or the order will ship out within one to three business day during a sales during a sales event is one to five business day. We're trying to get all your orders is out as soon as possible. And also, a lot of you love and want to get the videos is for um, packings and order. If you want to see your orders pack, you can also email us as well, or you can DM us. And we are going to be so happy to do that for you. It's fun um, to seeing it. We, we take time to really like packing your order to make sure that you, it's all right, safe, and, and nice as possible so you can enjoy your really good products from Glitz. And thanks so much for the love and support. Take advantage from this special sale to build up your inventory so then that way you can save a lot of yours is money investing uh, all the products so when you are running special special like running special promotion for the clients giving a free a nail art design this got you so then that way you don't have to break in your bank to get all the inventory grab all the stickers as much as possible so many as possible so you can have a lot on your hands all different category flower butterflies anything zodiac size anything you were thinking of like all seasonals halloween for all different designs that you can you can able to get and grab it so then that way when you're doing the design the client send you the picture for the consultation like oh i don't have this you know then you have to like end up paying full price so it's a great time to stock up a lot of your inventory so you can feel so much confident and have everything you need for your clients without breaking a bank and thank you so much for tuning in with me today on saturday i'm so obsessed i don't know it's so cute the design is like beam so i will uh, definitely looking forward to see you in the next live videos in the meantime have a fabulous saturday and have a wonderful weekend with your family with your loved one and i am looking forward to see you in the next live videos let me know if you want to see any like video live like walking around and picking the order pull the orders there's a lot of cool details and meticulous work and we love it is love every moment of it when we're able to pull the order for each and every single one of you thank you so much everyone we'll see you in the next live and enjoy the special sales and the extra thick condensed gel as well bye everyone